Welcome. It's time for experiment one of my series on make electronics, which I go over all the experiments in this book, and it's a sequel. So experiment one is pretty straightforward, and I will say that I can't believe I'm actually going to do this on camera. Don't do this at home, but it's in the book, and what can I say? It's the tried and true boomer method for testing if a nine volt battery is still good. Can you guess what I'm gonna do? Ah, yeah. So yeah, it gives you a little bit of a shock. Nothing much, it shouldn't hurt, but that's how you can tell if there's juice in it. There's other things you can do too, but um, the best way to do this is actually to use a multimeter which, uh, let me demonstrate how to do that. Okay, so I have my multimeter set up. Now, I'm not gonna go over uh, how a multimeter works and everything. Um, maybe I'll make a video on that, solely on that later, on this and all the other tools because they got an oscilloscope coming and all that good stuff. But uh, if you uh, like what you see here, I'll have a link in the description. But, so, let's see what we got okay so for nine volt batteries the big terminal is your negative and the small terminal is your positive and as you can see on the screen i am pulling 9.265 volts which sounds appropriate since this is a nine volt battery And that's pretty much it. So I do recommend using an actual multimeter or an actual battery tester to test your batteries and not your tongue because you never know what electricity could do. But now there's also an experiment on this where you're testing resistance, which it's really hard to do. See, as you can see, there's resistance on my skin. A little zappy going on. Basically, what that's showing is that there is a resistance on your skin. Basically, the multimeter is able to uh, determine that while against my arm, the two probes were able to transmit a signal between them and my skin or body provided a resistance. But there was able to make it a connection. Now, if you get no resistance, uh, usually that means it's an open connection, meaning there is no connection. So now if there's a better way of explaining this, please let me know. I'm at the ground floor. I'm learning this with you guys. So let me know. So that's it for experiment one. We will go into experiment two in the next video. Stay sleepy, my friends.